there you guys i'm teddy from bijutel beading and in today's tutorial i'm gonna be showing you super easy and fast how to make these christmas earrings they are a great idea for a gift or a jewelry to wear for the holidays and if you don't have much time this is one easy project that you could do i'm using here herringbone peyote stitch but if you're not familiar with those stitches don't worry because i'm showing everything really easy and even a beginner could make them consider subscribing with the bell also liking sharing and commenting it in this way you give me signals to continue with my work you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button now without further delay let's start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i need for this easy project are two colors of 11 oc beads earring findings this is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size d this is size 11 beading needle you could use some size 10 or 12 it's up to you and i'm also using scissors and now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay my friends and i'm starting my work by picking up golden beads and i'm going to slide those down I will stick my needle here in my mat and what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice with my tail thread through this loop I've made and I'm pulling and then what I want to do is to make just one more knot. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, guys, I want to go through the following golden bead after my knot. I take one golden and I go in the next golden. Then I again I take one golden, go in the next golden. again and I'm going to repeat it until the end of this row Okay guys, now you see these five beads that are sticking out that I just added and I'm going through one of them and I take two red beads and I want to go through the next one that is sticking out. Again, two red go in the, the one that is sticking out. and continue this until the end of this row Okay guys, now I want to go in one of those newly added red beads, take two reds, go in the following red. Now I have what so called herringbone stitch here. If you're not familiar, don't worry, I'm showing it in easy steps, okay? Now I take one golden and add it, then again I take two red beads, then one golden, two reds, one golden two reds
and as, as always I'm doing this until the end of this row okay and I'm here where I need to add the last golden bead and pay attention where I add it here through the first red which is closer to the center of my work don't make the mistake to go through this one, the second one. Okay. Now I have this. Then in my next step, I'm going again here. And I take two red beads. And I go in the following red. Again, I continue this herringbone part here. Then I take one red bead and I go here in the golden one. Again, I take one red and I go in the next red. Two reds. one red and I will continue this guys until the end of this row adding one red one red and two reds all the time <laughs> Okay guys and here is my last thread I need to add in this row and add it through the second red bead counting from the golden center. Okay. Then I go in the next red and I will continue the same way. Take two reds, go in the following red, continuing with the herringbone part. Then take one red and go through these two reds that are on my way that I added my previous step. Again, one red. And this, guys, is called herringbone peyote stitch because in the center you add beads and make a herringbone stitch like this one and around it you make a peyote stitch
Okay, and now I'm going through the third red bead counting from the golden center. Then I go through it and through the following red bead and I'm in a position to start next row. Okay, and I take two red beads. And again, I'm adding additional red beads at the sides here. Then I need a golden. Go in the next one that's on my way. A red. Go here in the following. In the last of this row. Okay, then take two at the top to form the herringbone part in the center. Then one red here forming the peyote stitch part. One golden go in the next red and one red two reds go in the following red one red at a golden and I will continue doing this off camera when I'm up to here I'll meet you okay guys and here I am where I added my last bit from this row I hope you did it up to here if not rewind the video it's absolutely the same way okay now I take two beads here again like always then I take one red here and one more red here I'm expanding here the peyote part then again one And one, then take two for the top. In this row, I'm adding only red beads. One here, one before the golden, one after the golden and one here before the two at the end so I add four times one bead and then I add two beads okay at the herringbone part okay I'll show you again and then let you do this by yourself one here one before the golden one after the golden and one before the part with the two beads okay now i think you got the idea so you will be able to finish this row absolutely the same way Two beads and then four beads one by one okay and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row and you see where I added I added here at the fifth bead counting from the golden center don't make the mistake to add it at the, the other bead after that everywhere it's added at the fifth bead so you need to do this the same here okay now i take two beads i add them here and again i will continue in the same manner to add with peyote stitch additional beads
Okay, I think up to now you might have understand how this one works. So I will show it a little bit more and then let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Here I go through two, through these two that I have. Then I take one. And one more. And again two. And I will continue the same way, just filling the gaps that I have here. Okay guys, I'm sure you could do this until the end of this row by yourself. If not, just rewind the video and see how I'm doing it here, here and here and repeat it. And here I am guys where I'm adding my last bead from this row. You see I'm going through this bead and after that through this one here. Okay, and what I need to add here is one Bead, only one this time here I'm adding only one bead and then I take one again and one more and here I need a golden one to fill in the gap and again one by one I'm filling the gaps here at this side and because this is my last row here I'm adding only one bead. Okay guys, and I think up to now you got the idea, just fill in these gaps here at golden, fill in these gaps and here at one. Okay, and when I'm ready with this row, I will meet you here. And here I am guys, at the last step, where I'm adding the last bead from this row. And then what I do is that I go through this bead that is sticking out. And I take one golden bead, my earring finding, and one more golden bead. And I go back through this golden in circle. And after that, I reinforce. And after I reinforce, I should go through some beads in this direction. I make here a loop, go twice through the loop I've made, pull, go 
then go through some beads and I'll cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my super easy Christmas stars earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still have them. Also, you could like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support. Down there in description, you will find useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the Christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.